it's been coming back with another video, and we are doing an awesome video today, guys. So make sure to hit that thumbs up button because today we're gonna be trying out some Karina Garcia slime. You guys might know who she is. She's a famous YouTuber for doing slime, stress balls, DIYs, that kind of thing. But she's mostly known for slime. And you guys know I absolutely love slime, and I think you guys do too so much. There's so many different kinds. There's awesome variations. There's always new slimes coming out every single day. And today, here I have the Karina Garcia Do It Yourself Slime book that she released a, a little while ago. And there's 15 cool and easy Borax free recipes inside of here. So I've been reading this the last few days. There's some awesome recipes in here. And I found a recipe that I thought we should do this for a video. So that's what we're doing today, guys. We are doing World Korean Garcia's Salon Recipes. And we went to Target. We have our bag of slime supplies here. We have what's inside the bag. Some shampoo. I'll tell you at the end what kind of slime we're making. You can kind of guess by what the ingredients are going to be. We have baby oil. We have little, some little popsicle mixing sticks. We have some cornstarch. And finally, we have some food dye. So that's what was inside our bag. And you might guys already know what kind of slime we're making from the ingredients here. We're going to be making one of Karina's favorite recipes for slime. Fluffy Soap Slime. As you can see guys, here is the page in the book about it. It's the second recipe in. And she says how much she loves that recipe. So it's kind of like fluffy slime, but you can also use it as soap. It feels amazing from what I've seen. And I've never tried anything like this. I made butter slime, which is kind of like it. And that's my favorite type of slime. But I think this is going to be a little bit different. I'm excited. So let's start making our fluffy soap slime. I'm going to make it blue color too. First use half a cup of shampoo and shampoo you want. But I definitely chose a good smelling one because this slime is also about how good it smells. Like I said, I made butter slime before and butter slime smells so good. Now you're going to add in 3 fourths cup of cornstarch. As you can see we have it here. So we're just going to add in this is half a cup. Just like that. And then this is 1 fourth of a cup. So 3 fourths of a cup. And there we go. Oh, there's a little bit more in here. That's good enough. Now we're going to take our popsicle stick here and we're going to mix this around together. So we have a dry and we have the shampoo. We've got the cornstarch and the shampoo going together. The cornstarch is really dry. So I don't know what it's going to do. Ooh, it's kind of forming it. We've got to mix this all in good. It's almost turned kind of like a white, off white cream color. It's weird. It was kind of like a gold and now it's I would say like a vanilla color it's almost like a vanilla cake color like cake batter almost that's kind of what it feels like and what it looks like first off as I said it kind of looks like a cake batter almost kind of looks like a frozen yogurt I don't know why but it does it's very very sticky already as you can see it hasn't formed yet though all the way now, our next step is one teaspoon of baby oil. We got coconut scented. Perfect. You can always add more if it needs to. This is going to make it stickier. Just a little bit stickier. And it's going to make it smell really good. It's kind of the same method as butter slime. So let's start mixing this together. Ooh, it's starting. It turned a little bit different. It's super sticky now. We add a little bit more in, just like a little drop more. And I'm surprised how it turned this white. It's crazy. It's made almost like a flower smell. Weird. Coconut and then the shampoo smell. Now add in two tablespoons of cornstarch very slowly. Just like this. Now we've got to mix it all up. 
just like this. Ooh, it's definitely getting thicker. A lot, a lot thicker. Then after this, I think we have to knead it. Let's see. The more and more, yeah, it's perfect. Wow. It is getting really, really thick, guys. Man, it's hard to move almost. Wow, that's tough stuff. Now we're going to put our hands in and start kneading it just like this. Right now, I'm not sure if it's going to turn as long, guys. It's kind of like this goop. I mean, we'll see if it turns into slime or not. <laughs> Because I'm really doubting it right now. But there's a lot of cornstarch left in here that I didn't mix around, it looks like. So I'm hoping maybe that will save it. Right now, it's not looking too promising. <laughs> okay, guys. So what the cornstarch does is it makes it thicker right now. It's not that thick. So we're going to add some more cornstarch in. See if that makes it thicker a little bit. And hopefully, we can save it. So we added the more cornstarch in, guys. And I think it might be working a little bit okay so I just cleaned my hands off because I've learned when I've been making my slime what happens is it gets all goopy your hands and then it's not going to mix the slime properly because it's all goopy so you have to clean your hands off and now it's kind of getting like a dough texture so I have this plate here we're going to take the slime and we're going to put it on here so now you just need you start kneading it just like this and we just gotta knead it for a few minutes look at this guys here it is here is the completed like fluffy soap slime but now we have to add our color to it so I'm going to do blue for mine let's see I'm going to put a little indention in the middle and then these are gel colors so we're just going to put a little bit just like that. And now I'm just going to take this and just gonna mix it all together. It might take a, a little bit of the dye. So as you can see, it's starting to work its magic, as you would say. It's turning kind of, we'll have to do it a few times probably to get it the color we want we just gotta keep mixing here it's kind of like a teal right light blue right now let's see let's add some more in so here we go here's what one blue dye coloring looks like it's kind of like a light baby blue i call it but we want to make it better blue than that so let's put a little bit more in there one, two, three drops. That should be enough. Together just like this. All together. Mix it up. So it's definitely very sticky, I would say, already. And it's got to knead it together like this. It's almost like a dough. It's not really, it's considered a slime. She calls it a slime. I would call it more of a dough. I mean, when you touch it, it feels like Play-Doh. But you could call it slime. It's flubber soap. She calls it like flubber soap slime. But I don't know. Also, she says that you can take a little piece off just like this and you can wash your hands with that. I'm going to have to try that out later, see if it works. And the smell? Oh wow, that's a... It smells kind of like a rose, I would say, almost. I don't know, that's a weird smell. My hands? Look at, them. <laughs> Look at my hands. Let's see. This should be all mixed up now. Okay, here it is, guys, our food product, the Flubber Soap Slime. Look at that. Oh, so satisfying. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. You can also go like this. Look at that. It's, like I said, it's not a slime, it's a dough. I would say it's 
It's definitely like a butter slime. Butter slime is just like this, but it's yellow. <laughs> pretty, well, pretty much. There's a few little things that are different with it, but overall, it's the same thing. And we got an awesome blue color, actually. It's a nice blue color. Exactly, actually, how hers looked, which is awesome. So, like I said, I'll try that, like, soap technique out later. I definitely liked her recipe on it. Like I said, it's very similar to butter slime. And did it work? Yes. But I think everyone's varies. You have to add a little bit more of the corn starch, a little bit more of the baby oil. Just get it to exactly how you want it. So, you follow the recipe, then you can vary a little bit based on how yours needs to go. And oh my goodness, I remember how much I love butter slime now. Oh, it feels so good. It kind of, it kind of feels like a slime bridge that connects sand. I know they even have that slime. But I want you guys to comment down below what is your favorite slime. And like I said, my favorite slime is butter slime. I also have made liquid gold slime. I've made cotton candy slime. Like, I've made little batches like, that are just like this big of it, of slimes. And I've made some pretty cool things. I've made like burger slime. Like I said, cotton candy, tons of blo like pitch dark slime, galaxy slime, like disco slime. Those are some of the slimes I made. Comment down below your guys' slimes. Definitely check out my game channel, Colin TV Gaming. The link will be in the description below where I play Roblox, Minecraft, Overwatch, all those awesome games that I have so much fun with. So make sure to check that out. Subscribe, like those videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, remember to give me a big thumbs up and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.